Hello again, YouTube, and welcome back to another JTOH video. And you may notice Thanos Tower is gone. Where is it? It's actually down here. You need the Infinity Gauntlet. Yeah, so they, I think they, they did an update recently where they like went around and hid the soul crushings that weren't already hidden or something like that. Which I guess means Tower of Thinning Layers is now hidden. That's over in Zone 1. But yeah, you need the Infinity Gauntlet. It is... Because this thing was added. Cool community stuff. Okay, so if you see that following me, um, that's what keys do. Because there's a recent update. It was, it was a few months ago, I think, or a month or two. I don't know. Yeah, so that, that means that's a, key, that's a key. And it allows you down here. And here's Thanos Tower. But anyway, that's not what we're doing right now. Instead, we're doing Tower of Rage. Is recorded in the same session as the Tower of Stress and the Tower of Screen Punching, just because it's quiet in my house right now, so I'm making the most of the situation. And then we'll do Tower of Impossible and Expectations next. But a lot of people say that Toyi is way easier than Tower of Rage, but we're still gonna do Tower of Rage. So this tower I beat recently, hopefully my skills for it are still working goodly. So yeah. Let's get into here. Some wedge jumps. If you can't even do these, then you need to stop playing the tower. <laughs> so, a fun fact about this tower and Tower of Keyboard Yeeting. Both of the first floor songs are the Wii Shop Song Remix. Also, if you corner clip through that block down there, you can get a badge on the outside of the tower. I'll show you now since I died trying to do that shortcut. Technically, you could also laugh clip through. Yeah, just hit this for a badge. Okay, so like I was trying to do, there's a shortcut right here. You gotta get right on the edge. And then you can hop onto there. Otherwise, just go across there. Um, jump across that platform because it's a conveyor. These ones fall because that's what 4x4s mean. And I'm going the wrong way. Right there just sort of rock up the platform because those are tilty boys then use that to jump on top of the wraparound if i fall then i will show you what i mean by that so jump up these spinning platforms epic shortcut then get right on the edge jump and see if your thing is blocked if it's not then go ahead and jump for the center cube and jump right on there and we are uh, not onto floor three. Okay, I fell, so I'll show you how to do that thing with the wraparound. So yeah, those fall. And this is a conveyor, but just jump across it and you'll be fine. Okay, here's what you should do. Do, okay, not that. Do like that. Or here, I'll show you again. Rock it up, and then I'm about to die. Okay, yeah, rock it up like that and do that. Some people find the other, the normal route easier than the shortcut. Now we're to the ice tightrope. Just jump across it like so. And I fell again. You might hit your head on that stud right there. No worries if you do though, cause just keep moving forward. And we're done with the tightrope. Then we have some one studs. Ah, I need to get my parkour act together. Cause I'm doing really bad right now. I mean, I was just doing tower of stress and tower of screen punching a minute ago. I should be fine. Uh, that's an epic shortcut right there. You can just jump right across these. No point in really dodging them because they don't insta-kill. Okay, now you're at these super annoying jumps. Get down to right about here where you're like right on 
top of that first stud and then just st line up your view and run straight across and then do like that and here's another nice shortcut here we are on floor four I'm not gonna risk that jump because it's kind of far so I'm just gonna go across the tight rip okay now we have these spinners I fail on these a lot at least when I was beating it for the first time okay rather than going down in there and I think there's a chance I think you can get stuck down there and then just die instead do that epic shortcut see how see which ones line up about right here see how those lined up that means that's your jump on this one and then four by fours always fall those are words to live by no they're not uh okay before th these got changed not really nerfed i i would i wouldn't say but as you can see this you're safe from getting flung so sort of like zigzag into the places where you're safe before there would be like ones that were off beat with the other ones so they would like be a little tricky but you could stand in between the Chevy platforms. Previously, this crane would try and shove you off because it didn't like you on it, but I think they fixed that. So you can just enjoy the ride. I would be T-posing here in front of the camera with the T-pose animation, except one problem, I don't have the T-pose animation. And jump right to here. Get on like right here on the ladder so that this platform up here doesn't block your thing. Also, uh, that is good for catching you if you fall. So now for the shadow blocks. You'll see things like this on Tower of True Skill as well. So where those match up on the three-dimensional plane, that's where the platform is. If I can, I'll sort of like edit in a thing right here. So yeah, there is a wraparound you gotta do right there. And then we have another one. So that's what it looks like. That's what it is on this axis. And jump on top, step over. Then we also have some more shadow block thingies, but they were nice enough to make them a little visible. So they're not super hard. Okay, and we're to the next floor. Now for some of the iconic Tower of Rage jumps. I think those are iconic to Tower of Rage. I don't know. Now for a spinner. Time to jump right and hop on here. I'm gonna try that. Okay, yeah. Don't have to grab onto the ladder. And now for these jumps. I think those jumps with like the spiraling stairs, those seem iconic to Tower of Rage. As well as the things like down there. How close are we? Just three more floors to go. Wrap around. Another wrap around. You can just do that. Don't go right there. Those are there just to trick you. Hop on here. And jump. Yeah, and get onto these two studs. That way you'll like get that because the ladder continues right there. And I messed that up. And I fell in further because I grabbed the ball. Ah. If I'd have fallen any further than this, I would have been mad. I'll meet you back up. Okay, we are back. I think you can just make that. Okay, so you don't even have to do that scary one stud that I just demonstrated why you shouldn't do it. And here's the hardest jump in the entire tower. Get down a little to decrease the chances of hitting your head. Okay, and now we're to this part. Some people say go to the middle. Some people say go around. I don't know what I say. I think I, I, I'm gonna say go around because I think I tried to go in the middle when I was doing it for the first time. And, oh no! 
Ah, uh, come on. Thankfully, I caught myself. Yeah, but I tried to go on the middle the first time I did that, and I think I got, like, stuck in there, and then was thrown off. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh A good thing about this tower is if you fall, you're highly likely to land somewhere other than floor one. Alright, and there's another shortcut. And then you can skip that other platform. You can skip that platform. And here we go. Tight rope insanity. Uh, yeah. So there's a certain route you gotta take. And yeah, this is where your tight rope skills are gonna be put to the test. And here's another trick. Go uh, to your graphic settings, turn them all the way down. That way it'll get rid of some of the neon glow and you can see the tightrope better. Also another thing I see people do, zoom out your view one little bit, and then that'll also eliminate the neon glow. And as long as you're in first person and keep holding down the right click, it'll keep your mouse in the center of your screen. Because if you do that, well, then it's not in the center and that's gonna cause you to fall off. I'm feeling risky, so I'm gonna jump onto there. All right, GG. Uh, let's boost our graphics back up. So that's Tower of Rage. Thanks for watching, and please consider liking and subscribing. That would be greatly appreciated. Have a nice day. I'll see you in the next video, which will be Tower of Impossible Expectations, which, since it's super quiet in my house right now, I'm going to go record that.